Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Join our Facebook group, Discovering Newfoundland. We're just on the back deck having our morning coffee. Legs, Sunset Inn in White Way. Just beautiful here. You can see the fishermen coming back. I wonder if they got some lobster this morning. I think today we're going to do a little exploring around the community. It's not a very big community, only uh, roughly about 373 people here. It's one of the boats we seen leaving the harbor this morning to go check his lobster traps. See the shag rocks right from the deck here. Must have something, the seagulls are following them. What an adorable little church here. St. George the Martyr, built in 1913. I've never seen a chimney like that. That's really neat. So White Way was uh, originally known as Whitless Bay. Uh, the community was renamed to White Way in 1912. This was done to avoid confusion with another Whitless Bay in Newfoundland. Aren't the shag rocks magnificent out there? Yeah, they're huge. Imagine going out there in a boat and see how big they really are. Oh my goodness, that would be surreal for sure. There's so many small towns you can explore here on the northern Avalon Peninsula. Right now we're on the Trinity Bay south side and uh, there's all kinds of historic communities. There's at least two lighthouses that I know of on this side. Uh, and you could drive to the other side of the peninsula. You could actually do the whole loop in one day. I wouldn't recommend it because there's so much to see that you want to spend some time in these communities because they're just beautiful. We're just on one of the back roads here and uh, the shag rocks from this angle, it actually only looks like three rocks, but from what you've seen before, it's much more than that there. We have a different view of the little community of White Way and it is so lovely. If you're coming to White Way and you're into golfing, don't forget your clubs. Here's the view from the Pitcher's Pond Golf Course. Mm -hmm. 